Welcome to my channel Mixed Media and More. I'm Beo and I'm glad you found me. Today I want to share with you another project. I had these cool wooden hearts from Southern Ridge Trading Company since a while ago and then lately I also have ordered some primary elements from Color Arte. Now I decided to do an assemblage together with some odd and ends I have in my stash. I have prepared the heart and the wooden panel first with white gesso. And now I'm mixing the primary element with some gloss gel. To apply I use a cosmetic sponge which gives a cool texture. I like the color hot cinnamon, a really true red. Together with the gloss gel it looks a little bit like glass. To intensify the red I add a second coat after drying the first one with a heat gun. For the outer heart frame I use first the Versamark ink and then embossing powder with some chunky bits in it. It is sort of a taupe color with some glimmer also. A little tip if you have embossing powders with chunky bits and or glimmer. Always shake it first to distribute the parts evenly again. As usual I have a supply list in the description down below. And if there are any questions or comments you can leave them down below too. And in case you are new here, I appreciate all my subbies, so consider clicking the button, so you don't miss any videos. I have videos usually twice, sometimes three times a week. Hope to see you again! As you can see, I did apply a second coat of the same embossing powder. I usually apply at least two coats. I just like the way it turns out with two or more coats. Now it is time to add color to the panel. I did use acrylic paint and did apply it with a cosmetic sponge to get that nice texture again. Here I'm working with a stencil and a light modeling paste. I have these rubbons from a thrift store. They are from the times when computers weren't widely available. So they used in the technical drawings those symbols. Next I did tone down the bright teal with some golden quinacridone burnt orange. And now some stenciling again with some black acrylic paint. On to the next step, 
I did apply a layer of white school glue, any PVA glue would work, and did dry it completely with the heat gun. Wherever there is now the dry glue, I apply a layer of Chroma Crackle Medium. I found this technique in a video with Michael Deming. I will put the link down below. Again, I'm using the heat gun. I love to watch how it turns into a whitish color and then starts to crackle. I did first use some dark blue acrylic paint before I went over with some metallic paint in bronze. So far it was just a painting. Now comes the assemblage part with my found objects. That's the way I work. I have only a vague idea when I start. The longer I work on a project, the more clear it becomes what I need and what not. So here I decided I need another rub-on. This one is from Canvas Corp. With all this texture underneath, it takes a little bit more work to get the rub-on really sticking well. Because it is a wooden panel, I can use the electric drill for the holes. I did use some decorative upholster nails, which I bended sideways on the back side. I also added some gears from cardboard and wood 
which I distressed a little bit with black acrylic paint. I have also in my stash these little factory stickers, which I had to distress too, as they looked too new for me. I use an iron paste to add the elements and also add more distressing to the whole panel. <music> 